welcome to the Silly Vicar Show. Oh, watch out for the poo! Okay. Oh! Um, if you have a look down at our feet, here we go. Me and Andrew are today in Walsingham. And, uh, the whole family. The whole family's here in Walsingham. And we're walking the, the mile between uh, Walsingham, the Roman Catholic Shrine, and the Anglican Shrine. And it's really weird because it's really flat over it. And we've got no <laughs> shoes on. Um, we've got no shoes on because we're doing it barefoot, which is okay unless there's poo. Yeah. That's right. And dead so. animals. I know dead animals, that's right. Which so, is sad. So, yeah, so we're doing this and we're going to get to the Anglican Shrine in time for the sprinkling at the well uh, when I'm going to sprinkle my arm. And you're going to see that. And I'm going to see what? They're going to see it, aren't they? Oh, they're going to see it. Oh, yeah, well, we can't film the sprinkling, but we can film just afterwards when oh. I'm all wet. Okay? So, see you in a minute at the Anglican Shrine. Wonderful view. It is lovely, isn't it? Yeah. What, the inwards camera? Yeah, now we're coming into um, Walsingham now. And uh, you can see we've still got our, our feet. Stinky feet. We're still doing that. And I think we're saying that it's great to be doing something that thousands and thousands or millions of people have done before this last mile of the Walsingham pilgrimage with no shoes on. Um, but no, we're the no. first people, aren't we, to do a silly vicar show about it. <laughs> Ever. Ever, which is really cool. Right, just got a few more like yards to go, but Andrew's decided to wash his feet to cool them down because the the road's like dead hot. Is that hurting, Andrew? Yeah. Ah, oh, you're well hard. Right, we just finished now our little walk uh, barefoot. Andrew's put some water on his feet, and we're in Walsingham, right, just outside. So if you've seen this place before, it looks really nice. You should come here. It's one of those sort of thin places where heaven and earth meet. So in a minute we're going to go in the shrine for the sprinkling at the well. We won't film that, but we'll film afterwards. So because we couldn't film the actual sprinkling at the well, uh, I've just got a photo here. What happens is there's a holy well here in Walsingham. Uh, for the full story of Walsingham, I'll put a link in the description. And what we do is uh, we go down into the holy well and the person there sprinkles uh, the water from the well on our hands and we drink some of the water and they make the sign of the cross on our head as well and people have come here for hundreds of years uh, really to seek healing and wholeness from God so that's what we did uh, just before uh, the last part of the video So hello and we're here now your shoes. There we are. Because we've just got to the uh, the well and we've had the sprinkler of the well and uh, that's a bit weird. Um, a bit freaked out by that. It's so. all so wet. It's yeah, it's wet. all wet. My arm's all wet. It's still wet now. It's still wet now. And yeah, it kind of doesn't hurt so much or kind of at all. So I'm a bit weirded out by that. Uh, so praise be and I can do the side of the cross and everything. So that's great. And this morning a lady touched his arm and he went, ah! Oh. Yeah, it did hurt this morning, yeah, but I'm alright now, so we'll find out. That's really good. So that's what we've done today at Walsingham, and uh, we'll see you next time on. Now, this last part of the video, I'm, I'm a bit sort of freaked out by it all. Uh, the picture you're seeing is uh, of the Holy House, and the Holy House is uh, a house which was built. Uh, in the same dimensions as the house in Nazareth where Mary lived with Jesus as he was growing up. And the story of Walsingham is that uh, Rosheldis received a vision of Mary hundreds of years ago and that Mary asked her to build a house here in Walsingham so people could come on pilgrimage to Walsingham rather than going all the way over to uh, Jerusalem because it was too far to go in the Middle Ages. And uh, it's known as England's Nazareth, and it's a place where millions of people have gone uh, to, to meet with God on pilgrimage uh, over hundreds of years. Now, what did happen, I don't know if it was that clear um, from the last video, because I was a bit sort of freaked out by it all, is 
my arm has been hurting for weeks and weeks and weeks since my accident. And uh, we went to the uh, the shrine earlier in the day and I was explaining to Andrew uh, what the sprinkling was. I said, oh, well, there's sprinkling at half past two. Uh, it's for when you're poorly. I said, you can go down and they sprinkle water on you and uh, you can receive some healing from it. And he said, oh, we should go to that. And that's why uh, we did it. And uh, I went down uh and at my i couldn't they couldn't pour the water in my hands which is the usual custom because i've got a cast on so they sprinkled it on my on my elbow and um it stopped hurting and hasn't really hurt since um i don't know what to say about that really these sorts of things uh, i've seen them happen to other people uh i've read stories about it and um i've listened to other people uh tell of these experiences that they've had i've never had an experience like this before uh, i never thought i'd have one really uh but all i know is that in the morning someone touched my arm as she went to give me a hug at mass and uh my arm really hurt and i went ow really loud um and it, it's been aching and hurting all day and I haven't been able to move it or rotate it uh, without it hurting and um, after I did the sprinkling at the well it stopped hurting and uh, Andrew being a true experimenter uh, just before we uh, shot the last video that you've just seen uh, was pulling at my arm and yanking it and pushing it and all that and just to see if it was uh, if it was hurting or if I was just sort of saying it wasn't hurting when it was and um, it it didn't hurt at all. So all I can say about that is uh, give thanks to God for uh, this blessing that uh, that we've received today in in Walsingham. So we'll see you next time on the uh, Silly Vicar Show.